Hello everyone and welcome to this second video. In the previous video we explained how to collect the data uh, from uh, Modbus uh, in this case is uh, what I have is a simulator and uh, collect data inside Renode and then historize uh, the, the data in MySQL in this table called history. So right now we're, what we are going to show is how to uh, insert the same values but in a completely different format uh, for this purpose I created this uh, new table called test which has these five, five columns uh, tag one, two, three, four and the timestamp which is an automatic uh, um, uh, updating field with the current timestamp okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new transaction if we go to config and to the SQL client uh, module then we have our uh, our transaction called history from my, the previous video right now I'm going to go again to the MySQL and create in this case a transaction a standard one so it's going, going to be uh, called uh, for example test <coughs> perfect so in here we're going to create a trigger uh, in this case we can make a tag condition trigger a periodic so I'm going to create a periodic trigger every every five seconds so we're going to be inserting data a new row every five seconds <coughs> there we go then I have to define what do I want to uh, bring from Vnode in order to insert in my table so I'm going to create four parameters uh, so I'm going to call this tag1 <coughs> tag1 the, this parameter is going to be collecting data tag1 here from uh, from Modbus so I'm going to duplicate and call this tag2 then Again, we have tag three. And again, and we have tag four. Perfect. So this way we can <coughs> be using the parameter tag one, two, three, and four, and we are going to be accessing to the values from the Modbus device inside Vino okay so next uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the query which already brings a, a template uh, with as you can see everything that is in green it's just an explanation of the use of the template and then whatever is in colors is the real uh, script so we have to just change here the table name we're going to be using test right uh, here test here this is my actually in small letters so let's go that way test uh, we don't have our we have columns our columns in our database are called tag one actually like this <coughs> tag two tag three tag four <coughs> there we go so the output we can choose as you can see here if we want a select or if we want an, an insert in this case we want an insert so I'm going to replace select by insert and the insert script is this one <coughs> as you can see we are going to be inserting into my columns tag one two three i'm going to add my tag four column uh, these are the values so this represents a number so i'm going to be inserting here <coughs> another number like this okay so we have a parameter what are, these are the, the values we're going to be inserting so this is going to be actually all of them are going to be uh, numbers so I can change this s which is a, a string 
I'm going to be inserting a decimal number. So in this case, we have a parameter dot tag, tag was with capital T, value parameter with a capital T, tag two parameter with a capital T, and we are missing number four. There we go. Now we have our number four. So we have parameter tag four value. Okay, so, <clears throat> and actually that's it. We're going to be running this insert, collecting data from these four parameters and writing into MySQL. Uh, I'm going to just press save here. Then we can, we have a parser. A parser is to parse uh, a, any answer from the database. This, of course, is useful if, if you're going to be doing a select statement where you're going to be collecting a data set. In this case, where we have no answer, so I can just che uh, uh, check here in none or choose none. And actually, that's it. If I just uh, save this and we restart our module and our transaction, and we go here every five seconds, we should have a new row with the values coming from our simulator. There we go. Actually, if I minimize a little bit this, we can see easier. Every five seconds, new row. If I go here, write up zero. Five seconds later, I should have it there you go this one is this one <clears throat> okay and of course this is just an example you can create any uh, data structure that you want uh, with all the columns and all the tags that you want and as complicated as you want because as you can see uh, the insert is custom made and uh, yeah let me let us know if you have any any questions okay thank you very much uh, thank you for watching